try again. I'm recording this video. <laughs> I just keep forgetting to do the stupid spill I have to do. Right. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Um, quickly do the old spill. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and um, leave me a comment down below what you think of this seller. This seller was actually suggested to me by a well, one of my lovely subscribers. So that's what I had done. I uh, saw there and I went ahead and ordered. I've got another two waiting for me to do. So I know I am not going to run up for the next couple of weeks. Because that is one thing I have, a few weeks ago, I had none wait for me to do. And literally, they finally arrived on the day I like to record. But yeah, that was pretty stressful. So yeah, our latest victim is, victim, <laughs> is DPF Official Store. This one was actually, I think... I think it might be in KK. I'm not 100 sure, but yeah, um, I'll double check and leave a note at the bottom who suggested. Uh, yeah, they suggested this door. Um, I ordered this on the second of March. I arrived. It arrived on the twenty seventh of March. It's a slightly more longer shipping than others. Um, I ordered this in twenty by twenty five. It's cost me a whole four pound ten p. The tax cost me 82p because here in the UK we have to pay tax now when we order from AliExpress, which is really annoying because now everything is going up. So it's not turning out quite so cheap. Um, I am debating doing a fan sales order just to see what they're like. I'm not going to order their customs. I find their, they say they tried, they aim to be the cheapest. Their customs are not the cheapest, but I would like to maybe put in a fan sales order just to see what they're like. So that's what I'm thinking about maybe doing, putting in a little uh, fan sales order. Um, you, you have to pay like 50 quid to get free shipping. So I might either do the free shipping or you pay six pounds shipping. So uh, it's a bit of a, mm, depends if I have many I like or not. It's a bit of a hard one, really. So if you pay and spend, you mean, you mean you're, you could be getting two done paying in theory for free if you pay 50 quid. That's my logic anyway. You don't need to spend them all. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I'm going to think of, about ordering from them and seeing what their quality is like. Uh, yeah, so that's basically all this spill. They didn't send for an example back, which is absolutely fine. I have quickly checked to see if there was a diamond paint in there. Quick, did a quick glance and that was it. Because this one came very flat and I was like... Ugh. Oh, you know, you know, you guys know that my luck I've had uh, hasn't been brilliant. I'm still waiting on two that I ordered in February. Yeah, and I'm now in April. Yeah, well, one was a mistake. They're resending it, but the other one I ordered at the same time, and I'm still waiting for that one. So, yeah, that one. Oh, uh, well, unless the quality is fantastic, they won't be getting a fantastic review basically because of how long they take them to ship and everything. So, hopefully, they will blow me out of the water. Right, so let's open this and see what we get inside. So, me going on and on and on for like four minutes now. Too long, the intro, Gemma. Right, so hopefully, I have remembered everything because I don't know if you'd have noticed, but I always end up forgetting. So, I have to go, oh, I've got to go and get something now. That's just me. Right. And talk it. Right, so we do a talk it. So clear pen. I actually like the clear pens. I think they just because they've got like glitter in them. I just think they're just that little bit extra sparkly with a free multi placer end. Uh blue grip. Uh, even though I have loads of these, these are always coming in handy. The cheaper tweezers. A larger, quite a larger square of the pink wax. I'm uh, pretty sure that's the eight multi-placer end. And I don't know if I mean frame. Eight multi-placer end and white tray. It doesn't look like we've got any baggies with this one, which really sucks because I'm out of baggies and I'm waiting for more to arrive. So what I'm going to do, I haven't actually 
post shortage yet all me spares I've had with this with you know which I've been doing from the thing I've got at the moment they're all in a bag so what I might do is see if they match up the dye lots and thingy so oh excellent two come in babe come in Thank you. Hello, YouTube. I am actually recording as well. <laughs> My husband just brought me in a nice cup of tea. Ain't he a good husband, eh, hey, people? And they actually come in the baggies. And I am so happy. I could stop. There's me going, I didn't get no baggies of this. Gemma, they have come in the bags. What you moaning about? And we have our inventory sheet. And we have 26 colours. Very clear printed infantry sheet. Uh, the symbols consist of mainly letters, a few numbers, and the odd symbol. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six seven symbols so yeah it's a mixture but by the looks of it nothing looks well you can't really get confused between them two so yeah they do and you shouldn't in theory get confused between k and this one but yeah they are all look pretty clear no free ten so i think it's three three seven one again it's our darkest and I am so happy that they've come in the bags. And they're not in order, which is a shame. So, 3371, let's look for you. 3371, so they've weighed them out. The drills do look pretty good. And, um, right, this is going to sound really stupid. But the baggies feel pretty good quality. You know some baggies, they feel really, really fluid. Have I got a spare one on here? Right, here we go. Here's some, here's one, and here's another this one feels a lot flim flimsier than this one. This one feels a lot stronger. So it felt like there was less chance of the bag splitting during a transit. Stoop, this might sound really stupid comparison. And there's one, I can see one junky drill. One with a tab. So that, that is me actually being really, really fussy. As you can see, they do look pretty nice, though, overall. So, yeah, they do look pretty good, and I am so pleased they've come in bags. So, so pleased. It's nice again for them to come in bags. Alright, let's look for our lightest colour. And I let I think every time I say it's seven four five. Because that's what it looks like. The drills ain't static static key at all. That's a bit of a mount tongue twister for me. And they look really nice. Super shiny, really nice. So yeah, I am really pleased with them drills. So they look like they're gonna be nice drills to work with. These lighter colors, I cannot find a single fault with them. And you know me, when the drills look really good, I try to find a fault, just to be honest, just to show you guys exactly 
how they look and everything else. But I just say these drawers feel very nice. These bags are slightly better quality than some you get. And they come in the bags so much better. Really, really is. So. So. We could have some creases here. I'm not going to roll it backwards or nothing. Because I do sometimes think that is what's causing creases in the diamond painting. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful print and we do have a couple of tiny little rivers but nothing to worry about it's not like it's a huge river but the print is extremely nice very, very, very impressed with this print. I can see every single one very clearly. We've got none that are blurry at all. I am checking, 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 checking. Very nice print. Very, very nice print. Let me show you guys. It is the double-sided tape. Which I know not everybody's a big fan of. But I have to say, it's a shame they didn't roll the canvas. That is what's let them down so far. I find when they fold it around the drills and that, that's you got more chance of rivers coming. Yeah, I know, like for example, Isaiah QSD um roll theirs, I and mean, you still do get the occasional river. I do think it decreases the chance of issues when they roll it instead of fold it around the diamond painting. But I have to say, the print is very nice. Let me turn the light pad on so you can see it with the light pad. There we go. Very, very, very nice clear print all over. It really is a beautiful print. I cannot fault their print on their cameras whatsoever. It is better than Men Who, Rachel, I will say. Must, I'm sorry. Even though everybody raved about her, about their diamond paintings. I'm sorry, I wasn't... I wouldn't really say I was massively impressed. So, yeah, I honestly would... That print is absolutely stunning. It really is. The drills are looking like they are going to be beautiful quality. So I am really I am wonky, 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 wonky. And we've got our inventory sheet. So yeah, it does look like this is going to be a very nice one to do. So I am going to get cracking. How I got my older cat. is um we at work she came into work trying to get a pigeon and she was five weeks old riddled in ticks and fleas and you know she was a teeny little cat you know she was she was only five weeks old she was so tiny and she came into work trying to catch it, and we managed to catch her. And I was like, oh, my friend, she knows someone who runs a rescue, and we'll be able to, because she was feral at the time, proper feral. You know, obviously hadn't had no human contact or very little human contact in her first five weeks of life. And so they were like, yeah, 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 that's cool, right put her in a box and or we made holes in the box and everything as a temporary carry case for her so we could get her home and everything and yeah that that that, that um whole idea of sending her to a rescue lasted a whole of a day after two days i managed to 
sway around and I'd go in like every now and then and sit there and gently talk to her and everything and after a couple of days she was purring and she was coming up to me because I created her at the time and she was coming up to me for attention after a couple of days and everything and she realised that, hey, this isn't so bad. And she actually, you know, came around and everything, which I was so surprised about. Because she was so feral at first, you know. She would hiss at me, scratch at me, you know. She bit me and everything. And after a few days of working with her and being gentle and nice and just sitting with her at first, she completely did a 180. So she, and my husband didn't tell me at the time, but he messaged my friend and said, don't come and get her. Gemma's got attached. And my husband, my husband just happened to pop, he said, oh, I've got to pop out and get, get a few bits of Tesco's or something. And he's, you know, so all right. And he came back an hour later with, a bed and food bowls and everything and I was like I couldn't believe it so we got her in the vets and everything and got the fleas treated and the ticks all treated and everything bless her because she was absolutely riddled with them you know got a good health check and everything and yeah she is a beautiful little girl she really is, and she's a proper mummy's girl, loves her cuddles. Her favourite thing is when we go to bed. She will sit by the door waiting for me to go to bed. And when she comes, and then when we go to bed, she will come and cuddle into me and have snuggles for a couple of minutes and have cuddles and everything. And that's her, one of her favourite things. She looks forward to going to bed. She absolutely loves it. Just to come and have proper cuddles for a couple of minutes. That's her favourite thing to do. And then I've got my younger cat. We got her when about... A month after my husband's dog Tia, oh, she was a beautiful staffy. She really was. Um, she ha he had her when we met, which is why Sophie and Molly couldn't come and live with me after we moved in together because Tia was no through no fault of her own. Um, when my husband took her on, uh, she was mistreated by previous owners, and she was very anti dog. But she was all right with cats. It was really weird. You know, she just really more stayed clear with cats. And But she wasn't very good with dogs. And no fault of her own. You know, husband did work with her and everything. And managed to get her to the point that she could walk next to a dog. But, yeah, we, we did... He did do wonders with her, he really did, you know, he did really work hard with her to get her not so reactive with dogs, not to the point of she'd see a dog and she'd be kicking off and everything. So, yeah, so after um, we had to put Tia to sleep, this was quite a few years ago now, about four years ago, and um, Viscous was... My older cat, you know, the one that was feral. She was looking really lost about someone being here with her at night and everything. So we thought, right, we, I said to Simon, I said, do you think that maybe we should get another cat? I said, we're not ready for a dog. He wasn't ready for a dog, obviously, you know, you can't just, we can't, we, we weren't ready to get another dog. 
To be honest, he's still not ready to get another dog. You know, she did leave a huge void in his heart. And um, he, he was like, that sounds like a good idea. That way Viscous has got company when we're at work. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Must be in the car, that'd be up into Mark. Oh. And then he was like, Yeah, that's a good idea. So um she can have a friend. I was like, Yeah, excellent. So we got it all, you know, spoke to my f friend who had the rescue, she had a little independent rescue. And she said that she had a kitten there and everything. So I said, can we go and have a look? And she was like, yeah, no problem. So we went down and had a look. And this little beautiful little Calco cat. Calco means um, like different color cat. She's mainly white with a bit of ginger, a bit of brown, a bit of black. And yeah, she's just all different colours basically. And she's a really cute little thing. Um, I said, yeah, she's cute. She was there with her brothers and sisters and everything, so she was used to cat. She was, you know, gonna be company for Viscas. And obviously Fiskars was a bit of a madam at first, you know, I did the whole what on earth is that you are brought into my house, but after a little while she started coming around, obviously we kept an eye on them and everything and separated them at night, just until Fiskars was used to Samoa, but two days after we got Samoa, We'd had the we'd, we had the appointment to get Samoa vaccinated and everything the week next week. So obviously, as soon as we vaccinated, we normally get them um, insured. But um, literally two days after we brought Samoa home. She was sat next to me asleep on the sofa. And she had a seizure. All of a sudden she just literally started shaking and everything. And I was terrified for my life for her life and everything. And we grabbed her, picked her up, and jumped in the car. Took her straight down the vets. And they checked her over and everything. They said, she seems to be fine now. So they, they said, some kittens can outgrow it. You know, it's very rare for a kitten to have seizures. So we were like, well, that's definitely a seizure. So they said, well, keep an eye on her and see what happens. And again, she had another seizure, not so long, not, not the same day, but I can't remember how long after. So we booked her in another appointment and she'd got through that and in the end they started with a try treating for this try treating for that because they don't like to give kittens medication when they're so young so that was what they were worried about giving her you know all these medications when she's so young, especially like epilepsy medication. So in the end, like, we did, in the end, we did it, finally put her off in a barbital. It was helping a bit, like, oh, stuck. She wasn't having, I call them mini seizures, basically, like, they're, they're focal seizures in a, a facial twitch. And like, she, I can, I have got videos of him all and everything. Her face will twitch or her body would twitch or something. And she, you know, it was getting a bit more control, but she was still having more seizures than what we liked. So 
So eventually, like, the vet said to us, um, like, we, we really do need to think about an MRI. And obviously, because we hadn't, she wasn't insured, because as soon as she had the first seizure, it was on her records, and they wouldn't have insured her for that anyway. And so we were just like, oh, how much would that cost? And they said a rough amount. I was like, that's not money I've got at the moment. But luckily, I managed to get a loan with the bank. Because I did want to rule out all the nasty things and make sure it, it was, it sounds bad, just epilepsy. You know, I do, I want to rule out the brain tumour, liver disease, anything, any of the nasty things. Epilepsy is still serious, but not so, like, as bad as a brain tumour. Because if it's a brain tumour... You know, you're thinking to yourself, is she going to have a quality of life? Is, she, is this going to be fair on her? Is, you know. So in the, the end, we were like, right, okay. So I went to the bank, see if I'd get a loan to cover it. Yes, I could. £2,700 later, that cost me the MRI. But it was worth every single penny because... They came back, because obviously they didn't just do the MRI, they do spinal taps, they do this, they do that, they do a lot of tests. What We had to take it to a specialist vet, it's a new market. So they did all the proper tests and everything else with a new neurologist. And yeah, she wasn't very happy at all because she would eat there, so they had to put her on IV fluids and everything, because she mad them. She had to stay a little bit there. She wasn't just in and out in, like, in a couple of hours. She was there for a good day or so. But yeah, after all the tests and everything, she definitely had epilepsy. Because they have to rule out... It's weird. When you, There's no actual test for epilepsy. They have to rule out everything else before they can diagnose ep epilepsy. Which is really weird. But they started her on a new medication on top of the phenobarbital, which was has worked wonders. We now get the generic version from the chemist, levetiramine, so I call it that, because it works a lot cheaper than £100 a month for Keppera from the vets. We actually get it from the chemist, and it's like a fraction of the price. Like, I think it's like... Forty-five pound for five months worth. So yeah, it lasts ages. This definitely works out a lot cheaper. So, but yeah, she was she she's doing a lot better. She still she still has seizures. It usually works out. She has one seizure every six months, roughly. Occasionally she'll throw the old one in there. But we're now used to it. And um, when she has a seizure, we all put her on the floor where she can't hurt herself and sit there with her, not trying to like touch her too much. Just just making sure she's not gonna hurt herself or nothing. We don't want to overstimulate when she's having a seizure. But she come, make sure she comes out of it, getting her plenty of food when she's come out of it. Because when they've obviously had a seizure, it's like they run a marathon. Basically, that's what the vet said. Like, when they've had a seizure, they burn off so much energy, they basically just ran a marathon. So they, so we always have plenty of food ready for a, so she can eat a whole pouch of food, whatever she wants. And yeah, we just make sure that she's okay and everything and make sure she's come out of it properly. You know, she's doing good though. She's, she has her silly moments, so. But yeah, there's, she, she's a good cat though. And well, 
to a certain extent. She's a bit of a, a silly cat. Like, for example, I. she doesn't seem to notice her surroundings properly, if that makes sense. Like, she'll be stood right next to a door or a table leg or table or chair or something. And she's a darter like if i get up to do something she'll think oh medication time i better run away even though she's just had it but she'll still run and think it's medication time and she'll just run full pelt into the table or chair or wall door she's just she's just so silly but she's always fine, honestly, she's absolutely fine. She just forgets things are there and runs into it. She's she's my she's my special girl. <laughs> she's just very forgetful where things are. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd tell a few little things, little few little stories. So I hope these ones are okay for you and they haven't drawn out too much and yeah it's because i don't want to be doing it like waffling away for hours on end because this this video must be gonna be well, how long has this been going on for 32 minutes i've been talking for so i think it's more than enough time on me blabbering away to you guys so 30 minutes of chatting and then i am going to crack on with the time lapse now so that doesn't go on too so that obviously this video of what it's going to be an hour long this right and i don't think people want to see an hour long video i don't know let me know in the comments what you think but yeah right so let's get cracking and i shall catch up with you when it's done all right right so our latest ladybird is done and I have to say, I am pretty pleased with this one. The drills, I have to say, from DPF are brilliant. They really do fit together snugly all over the show. Um, with one or two gaps, but that is because of me. Because you know me, I use my form drill multi-place all the time. So that is mostly because of me. But... Overall, the drills do fit together extremely nicely. And I really do mean that. They really do fit together ever so nice. So here's a close-up without the light pad. And the drills are really sparkly. The ladies bird, you know, the bum does seem to blend in to part of the orange flower a little bit but it's not the end of the world because you can still just about make it out maybe they'll slightly off with some of their colorings or something but i'll move closely in and that and there's very 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 few gaps so i have to say overall they're you know the closest the drills are fantastic we do have there's the paper quite a few spares over things so we know we're not going to run out which is excellent too only thing i would say that has really let them down when i you'll see if i hold up like this where they roll it around the drills it's still not completely flat obviously like if you frame it in that but it might not go down as you can see holding like that it's still not completely flat and even putting all the drills on hasn't completely flat it down so when like if i did like for example frame this i would have to make sure this part is absolutely completely stuck down because i do think it has you know it is slightly annoying that obviously where they've rolled it around it's just not going flat at all and i don't really like 
the double-sided tape ones i don't really like to roll backwards because i find that you could that is could be partly why we get in the rivers are being created more and that's why i just pulled back the paper and relay it so that is literally the the, the main negative that i can find with this company overall i'm actually really pleased with it the drills i cannot you know there was a few junky bits but nothing nothing to worry about at all whatsoever so overall i would say i am extremely pleased with them the closest of the drills are fantastic really really are so i would say definitely give these guys a try because i honestly you know it was quite nice having working on it and all the drills were all nicely close together they are super shiny and everything and yeah i honestly would say i would recommend these guys i actually really enjoyed it and yeah the drills are very nice close together so yeah there's only really one thing that's really let them down is the pure fact that i oh, know i've shown you already is that it's not still not flat because of how they've rolled they've how they've put it in so that is literally the only negative i could really find about this company we had a half decent amount of colors we had 26 colors a lot more than what we had from other sellers so yeah maybe they i don't know maybe they lighted up the picture a bit too much so obviously we had some weird orange in the ladybird but it's not like overly bad you can still see what it is and everything because like here it's like meant to be like a red a ready type colour but obviously it's just blended it all together and just printed off like an orange so maybe if they did use a few more colours it would come out a little bit more sharper or something I'm not sure but yeah definitely I'm still pleased with it though and they have picked out some of the green in the flower at the bottom oh, I've got really itchy though <laughs> so yeah I am actually really pleased with them. I would say definitely I recommend them. And yeah, um, I've got a twitch in my eye now. I can't wink, can I? <laughs> but you hate that when your eyes start twitching and, oh, and you just think you're just sitting there and your eyes just go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely recommend them. I would say, yeah, definitely recommend them. Really enjoyed doing this one. It feels very nice to day when I was like see this book just running hands over and you could just feel like that one there's a little bit up pop it down love that feeling so yeah really pleased with them I would say definitely give them a go if you're looking for a different seller um I know most of you like the whole pour glue but if you're looking for just a normal seller not too fussed about what type of glue you have i would say give these guys a go because honestly i actually think they did a very good job and honestly i reckon the bigger the dime paint in most of these companies will use more colors this one obviously just doesn't want to use the, a lot of companies to, for smaller dime paints just don't use many colors which is absolutely fine because i think it becomes more expensive for them in the long run so yeah i definitely would say yes and if you want to give them a go give them a go so that is it for this week's seller. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think of this company, DPF, Diamond Painting. I think they're Diamond Painting Factory is a, a long word, but DPF is what they go by on their canvas and on their sheet. So yeah, definitely would recommend them. Really enjoyed this one. And... Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe because I forgot that another little bit of spill I had to do. Right, so yeah, that's it. And I shall see you all. Thank you very much for watching. Why do I do that? Start one sentence, stop. And then... I'm so I'm weird over there. Yes, I am. Right, uh, uh, she knows. Right, so yeah, and I shall see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you later, guys.